宝贝们 ，It's bedtime. Now close your eyes. Take a deep breath. 深呼吸，吐气。今天去学校有注意到路上的动物吗？蓝天上飞的小鸟。绿油油草丛间飞舞的粉色蝴蝶，还是拴着链子和主人一起散步的小黄狗。趁现在跟爸爸妈妈分享一下吧。现在我们要开始听故事喽。今天这个故事是有关一条很饿很饿的毛毛虫 ，The Very Hungry Caterpillar。The Very Hungry Caterpillar 刚刚从蛋里面孵出来，一直想找东西吃。你猜猜它都吃了什么呢 ？Now tuck yourself up， 盖好被被，准备听故事喽。Let's dive. The very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the worm sum came up, and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. Push his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. 故事的最后 ，the very hungry caterpillar 变成了有着一双彩色翅膀的蝴蝶。你也想和它一样，有一双可以飞翔的翅膀吗？赶快闭上眼睛，也许等一会儿，你也会在梦里梦到你有一双翅膀呢。